Europe has set its sights on net zero. Through the European Green Deal, it aims to become the first climate-neutral continent by 2050. And before the end of this decade, emissions within the region should be less than half their 1990 levels. Low-carbon hydrogen development can fuel the strategies to meet these commitments. Equinor is unlocking opportunities in Germany and the Netherlands, where hydrogen's efficient properties will support the decarbonisation of their industrial heartlands. In the UK, Equinor and its partners are creating the world's first net-zero industrial hub in the Humber region on the northeastern coast of England. Their pioneering plan is to transform the UK's biggest industrial cluster and largest emitter of CO2 into a low-carbon, hydrogen-fueled hub. The first step to achieving a zero-carbon Humber region is the H2H Soltend project led by Equinor. When it comes online in the mid-2020s, it will be the world's largest hydrogen production plant with carbon capture and storage technology, supplying hydrogen to industrial customers and a power station at Soltend Chemicals Park. H2H Soltend will produce hydrogen from natural gas while capturing at least 95% of the CO2 byproduct. These emissions will travel by pipeline under the North Sea and be permanently stored in a giant aquifer deep under the seabed. CO2 emissions at Soltend will fall by 900,000 tonnes per year from the first phase of this project as industrial plants switch their fuel to low-carbon hydrogen and the power station moves to a 30% hydrogen fuel blend. Looking to the future, Equinor and its partners hope to deliver a zero-carbon Humber cluster by 2040. As more hydrogen plants are built, including hydrogen from renewable power, and industries and power stations across the region plug into a new pipeline network, allowing them to switch to hydrogen or capture their carbon. With projects like this replicated across Europe, the continent could emerge as a leader in the global hydrogen economy.